you're gonna help your sister. It's not my pet. She might drop it. Help her. Hey, hey, Nino, where are you going? To go put the fish in the bowl and play Zelda. Ven aquí. What? No me hablas así, ven aquí. What's going on with you? How come she gets a fish and I can't have a dog? We can't have a dog in the apartment, I already told you. Luis's family has one, I've seen it. Well, if they do, that's because they're hiding it. And if someone catches them, they're going to get in big trouble. Do you want me to get in trouble? No, but... Listen, mijo, one day we're gonna move out of this apartment. And when we do, you can have any kind of dog that you want. And it will be all yours. But until then, you have to show me that you can be responsible. How? By taking care of me and your sister. You're the man of the house, entiendes? You can't just jump out of the car and go run into the house to play your games. You have to see if we need any help. You have to open the door for us and always pay attention, especially in this neighborhood. We take care of each other, right? Right. No te creo. We take care of each other, okay. It's my responsibility, okay, I've got it. Then we can have a dog. Sorry, what else? Nothing. You can go inside. Hurry, before the fish drowns. <laughs> Hola, mujer. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Hi, Mari. When are we going to get that car fixed? Pues, when you give me the thousand they said it's going to cost to fix it. That was good. Doesn't really look that bad. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend, mujer? Ay, lo mismo. We had Sunday night football last night, and I cooked a ton of food for Alejandro, his friend. So I was actually going to tell you, if you want to come over, we can eat and chat, and then the kids can play. Was Jorge there? Si. ¿Por qué me preguntas? Nada. Anyways, <laughs> I went to the store and I promised I was gonna make the kids hamburgers. Mijo, go take the fish inside. And Caro, you can show it to Angelica in the house, okay? Está bien? Si, sí, claro. Go, guys. Are you okay, Maddie? You look a little tired. Callate. That's just another way of saying I look horrible. No. Seriously, is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. It's just. Miguel's coach called me yesterday and he said that a whole bunch of equipment was stolen from the rec room. How much equipment? Everything. Some mental teenagers must have cut through the lock and he said it's worth a couple thousand. So now he's going to have a meeting with all the parents at 7 tonight. Were you the last one to lock up after Miguel's practice? Ay, Mari, lo siento. But you know what? They're probably just going to ask you for the keys back and that's it. Nah, ojale que si. I don't know what I'm going to do if he asks me for the money. You know the hotel barely pays me enough to keep the apartment. Well, look, why don't you just let me come with you? Because, you know, sometimes these coaches, they think the worst, and I don't want him accusing you in front of all those parents. No, that's really sweet of you, but I'll just call you later and tell you how it goes. You sure? <laughs> Mom! Get me home. Guess what? Today at school, teacher brought in some tadpoles. ¿Y esos qué son? The tiny baby frogs. And teacher says in three months, they'll be real frogs. Can we have one, Mom? Wow, cool, mijo. And where's the little frog gonna stay? In me and Carl's room. Well, then you better ask your sister. She doesn't make the rules. You asked me we. Niño travieso. Marlena, you want a real frog in the house? She says yes, Mom. Okay, mijo, we'll get the little frog. Okay, you two watch TV until I get back from the coach's meeting. Vanessa's phone number is on the refrigerator, but don't bug her. And don't open the door or answer the phone, okay? I'll be back before the movie's over. Mwah, besito. Here, mama. <laughs> oh my, it's beautiful, mija. This is yours. It's almost as beautiful as you. Did Papa give you roses like that? See, si, mija. And it was always the best surprise, just like this. I love you. And you both be good, okay?
Excuse me. Ms. Lopez? Marisol Lopez? Excuse me? Uh, oh, yes, I am. Are you one of the fathers? Um, Ms. Lopez, actually, I'm with the Immigration and Customs Enforcement. I'm, I'm just here for a meeting for my son. Ms. Lopez, are you understanding what I'm saying to you? We're going to need to see some identification, ID. Identification, I don't, I don't have favor. my driver's license with me today, but I think I'm somewhere. Uh, um, Ms. Uh, Lopez? You know, here, here is my Lopez. What is this? What is this about? Ms. Lopez, please stand up. What is this about? I'm going to need you to come with us. What is this about? I'm going to need you to come with us. No, no, I cannot. My, my children, they are at home by themselves. Like, they, they are American citizens. I need to call them. I need to call Ms. them. Lopez, please, please, I let me. I need you to calm down. No, let me go get my phone. It We're is in the go car. To the detention center. You're entitled to one phone call. No, my phone is in you the car. Please, let me there. go. Let me go get my phone. I, I, I need to call my children. It is calm very important. Down. You have no idea how important repeat. it is. They are by themselves. Let Do you me understand repeat. me? They are by themselves at the home, and I need to go center. get them. Please, let me go get my phone. It is in the car. You're entitled to a phone call. I'm going to call. Make your call from no, there. No, let me go get Officer, my cell phone. I will call her. them now. It's very important. You don't understand. All right, let's go. No, no, it's busy. My son must be trying to call me. Please, let me try just one more time. Mommy came back. She um she went to get us breakfast. Do you think she got food for the fish? I forgot yesterday. Yeah, I hope so. Talk to mom, and she said we should go to Vanessa's while she gets her car fixed. Okay. Let's go. Lilito, hola. Hey, Caro. You're looking cute today. Kessin, where's your mom? Hi, Miko. Hey, what's wrong? Miguel. Hey. Miguel, where's your mom? Miguel. Hey, look at me. Where's your mom? Alejandro! Okay. Okay, all right. Here we go. This will make you feel better. Thank you. Thank you, officer. At least we know she's not missing. Yeah. That's all they should know, too. 
Now that they know they're both here with us, they said they're sending someone for them. Tomorrow. No. The kids should stay here with us. Yeah. I know. They should. Look, the kids are spending the night, so I'm gonna get some clean clothes for them with Miguel. Okay? And I guess there's a goldfish that Catalina wanted, so... Uh... Okay. I'll sit here with the girls. Yeah. Hey. Is there something wrong? Besides the obvious? Yeah. Whatever it is, you can just tell me. No. I'm just gonna get some clothes. Okay. Hello, you're Vanessa? Yes, can I help you? Child Protective Services. Are Miguel and Catalina Lopez in the household? Yes. Have they packed their belongings? Were they supposed to? The children need to come with us. I was informed the children's father is deceased. The mother's been detained by ICE and without a family member or a parent present. We have to take him into our custody and determine what's best for Miguel and Catalina. Look, I think we should talk to Maddie. I'm sure she would say the kids should stay here with us. So can you just tell me what happened or maybe how I can get a hold of her? By law, these children must come with us. I have a police officer outside to ensure that everything goes smoothly. Are they all packed up? Think so. Wait. A police officer? How are you planning to get these children back to their mother? By morning, their mother will be in a detention center out of state. In a few weeks, she'll be back in Mexico. These things are temporary. We'll take care of everything. Are they ready to go? Are they taking us to see mom? Okay, Miguel and Catalina, I have to go back to my office now. So... Senora, Senora, mis hijos tienen derechos, son ciudadanos americanos. Usted sabe si puedo verlos. Ven, acércate, hija. Siéntate aquí, acércate. Siéntate aquí. No firmaste los papeles que te dieron, ¿verdad? Pensé que tenía que firmarlos. ¿Cómo te llamas, hija? Marisol. Marisol López. Esos eran los papeles de deportación. Nos van a llevar de aquí. Sí, sí, pero ¿qué le va a pasar a mis hijos y a mí? Podré ver a mis hijos antes de que me lleven. Los podré llevar conmigo. Han de estar muy asustados. Vamos a pasar por algo muy difícil ahora. Pero no estás sola. Estoy contigo. ¿Me oyes? Tus hijos van a estar bien. Ellos van a estar, pero nunca más volverán a ser tuyos. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿Qué me está diciendo? Eso es una locura. Ni siquiera yo sé si volvería a ver a mi familia nunca más. ¿Qué diablos me está diciendo? A, a los niños, a los niños los mueven de casa en casa, de ciudad en ciudad. Hasta los pueden adoptar. Pueden ser adoptados. Así es como, como ellos se encargan de nuestros asuntos. Adoptaros, pero ellos son mis hijos. No pueden hacer eso. Miguel, Carolina, we're going to show you guys your new rooms. How does that sound? Carolina, why don't you get up and come with me? No, I'm taking care of her. 
Oh, you're going to see her again real soon. No, she's my responsibility. Oh, well, we know that, sweetie. We promise you're going to see her again real soon, okay? Miguel? <laughs> These are nice. These are really nice. Come on, Miguel. ¿Qué tal si regreso? Sería difícil, muy difícil. Y tú lo sabes. Yo no volveré por ellos. Debo entenderlo. Tengo que hacerlo. Yo sé, yo sé, yo sé.